漂亮的啊！你要 for forget him, forget him. We're gonna go this way. We're not gonna go this way. <laughs> Hey there, everybody! This is Hardly Bardly. Welcome back to another edition of Anodyne. When we last left off, we beat the boss of the Cliffside Dungeon. And today, we're actually gonna go back and see what this key is used for. There was actually a room that I missed earlier. And now that I'm over here, I'm gonna try to get to it. So it seems like this is what the key is used for. Oh no, it's not not another one of these things. Ah! Ah, I hate those rolly things. It's like I never can remember which key to press. It's like, ah! Darn it! Not again! Get out of my way, bat! Okay, yay! It's a froggy card! Let's take a look at the froggy card. There he is. Scientifically speaking, toads are a subset of frogs. Okay, well that's just... I mean, okay, I suppose that's right, but very silly, very silly. Alright, so let's get on past the Hugos here. Come on, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Alright. So, come on, Hugos, go away. You go away. Now, get out of my way. Alright, so we're just gonna go hop on out of here. And now that we have the other key, we'll take a look at it. It says, key found in the mountain cave. Now that we have that one, we should be able to find that one path we were looking for earlier. Oh, nope, that's the one I just came out of. And I just hopped back into it, how silly. Alright, so here we are. Back to the lighthouse. Now, let's go ahead and use the last key to open this up. And I got to noticing that... Ooh, look, we can see ourselves in the puddle. That's kind of cool. But I got to noticing that there are still a lot more portals for us to find, so this game is probably a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Scenic landmark. Partner towers built some time ago. The partner towers overlook the distant mountains. The first tower was damaged a while ago and has since been repurposed. The second still stands to the east, reaching into the sky. Due to safety concerns, the path of the tower has been cut off until further notice. Some strange force stops this treasure box from being opened. Ah, oh, come on! It's not cool. Oh, getting a nice little scenic view. It's a good thing we're not afraid of heights. Huh? Oh, wow! It's finally moving aside all those statues and all the dungeons that we've been to. That is cool. Oh, We've got some pretty music going now. Okay, can we open this? Yay! We can open it! Okay, so... Now, let's take a look. Do you ever feel like, no matter what you do, you can't stop the world from dying? That's kind of morbid. But in the very least, we got that out of the way. Oh, we even found... We have a little thing right there that shows that we found all the cards in the area. So, let's go... Oh, there's one there, too. There and there. Alright, so first things first, we're going to go back to the very first dungeon that we ever came to. And we're going to get, or go through that one area where the statue had our path blocked earlier. Right, that's not it. It's this one. Yeah, here we go. Alright guys, let's head to 
Ooh. Bigger dungeon. Am I gonna fall down? Yep. I fell down. Let's see if I can hop. Nah. Come on, young. Hop. Come on. Hop for your life. Nope. Looks like we can't get it that way. Oh, it's another one of those things. No. Go away. Oh, it's one of those things where I have to actually move the critter over. Eh. Ah! Oh! That stinks. No? Okay. Ah! That scared me. No! <laughs> Why did you die? Why did you die? Come on. We can do this. We can do this. We got this. No! 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 Ah! You know, for, forget him. Forget him. We're gonna go this way. We're not gonna go this way. Uh, I guess I am gonna have to get him over there somehow without dying. Darn. What? How do I wind up? Uh, this stinks. One moment, guys. Okay, you know what? Let's actually try an easier one. Because I don't actually have a lot of time to make a video today and get it posted before work. So, let's try, not that one, but the one inside of the grotto dungeon. So yeah, let's go through here. What the crap? Oh, he looks so different. That's so weird. The seeing one knows all and will lead one to enlightenment. The road to enlightenment is unlit by any torches. Okay. It's like some weird retro you may Nikki vibes going here and are those dead bodies Those are dead bodies everywhere. I wonder if those were the Hugos. This song's got a little bit of an interesting beat to it. This is a really long labyrinth. Interesting. Do not stray from the way of the seeing one, not even for the treasures lying at the far corners of the maze. Okay, so we have like a new little area here. Okay, so I'm gonna save again. Yeah, there's some person there. Ah! I wonder what this thing's gonna do if it gets a hold of us. Take out most of our life. 
That's what it gonna do. Okay, so there's got to be something that can help us get past those guys. But it didn't look like there was really any place for us to go over there, so... Oh! Yay! We can sneak by it like that. Oh, there's spikes. Can I jump over them? Barely. Eh. Okay, so they're easy enough to get by. Sort of. Yay! Made it. I don't need to go that way, I need to go this way. Guess that was a dead end for him, huh? Oh, okay. So, getting like some really old school Zelda vibes. What am I doing here? Good question. I just stumbled upon here. I'm in hiding. It's safe here if you don't venture too far out and let those guys get you. It looks like I'm relatively fortunate. All these dead people strewn all over the place. How did they die? It's a little fascinating to try to think of how it happened. Well, shouldn't you be trying to get out of here so it doesn't happen to you? Were they attacked by the monsters? Tripped and fell on the spikes? Just a bit grim. I hope it doesn't happen to me. Physical pain is a terrible prospect. So I literally came all the way out here just to talk to somebody that's an idiot. Good to know. Good to know. Is there something in here? Nothing. Except for spikes. And pitfalls. Eh. There we go. Whee! There's a blood spatter spot right there with nobody there. Wait! He can walk across those? No, cool! Not cool! Not cool at all. Oh, I've just gotten myself into a pickle. Okay, that worked. Wait. I probably should try the other side there and see if I can go past those spikes. Ah. I went down the hole. There we go. That worked that time. Aha, try telling me I can't go after treasure. Oh, well, you'll see. You'll see. I'll get that treasure. In fact, I got that card, so let me see what those freaky people are. Don't get violent around me. I'm not the one getting violent around you. You're the one getting violent around me. You're a jerk. You're just walking all over me, just stomping on me with your great big pink toes. Eh. 
There we go. And yeah, why did I do that? There we go. And, um, yeah, I need to go back this way. All right, that's the way I want to go if I want to get stuck. There we go. Whee. Even my broom is pixelated. That's so cute. At least these guys have very flat paths that they follow. Okay, one more spam save and I should be able to continue. Hey. You know, when I said this game was a sort of dark Zelda clone, I didn't expect for it to be a clone of, like, multiple styles of Zelda games. Nanny, can't get me, can't get me. Their faces look like they're melting. Alright, so I just need to get back to where I was. Uh, I went the wrong way, why did I do that? No. No. Yes, I will continue. Darn it. You know what? This is probably about all the time I have for today. So if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can catch the next video as soon as it comes out. All right, hopefully next time I'll have a little bit more time to record. Anyway, gotta go. Harley Bartley, signing out.